Good morning, friends, and welcome back. I am working on a large piece of furniture, which I will show you next week in next week's video. But for this week, I am doing a beginner's video because over the five or six years, as I keep making decoupage videos, I get new subscribers and a lot of them tend to have the same questions or if decoupage has just been a little foreign to you, especially with the napkins, I want to show you the easiest way for you to do napkin decoupage so that you don't get too frustrated. <laughs> and I'm going to show you from the bare minimum. So I'm looking at this as if my five-year-old niece is in the room and I'm going to show her also step by step. And I'll show you how to decoupage. So the first thing that we want to do, and this is very, very important, you want to make sure that you're using napkin decoupage glue. I've worked with this one for a few years. It's very good. I personally stick with the DecoArt napkin decoupage glue. There will be links down below this video to these supplies in case you want to read about them or purchase them. And because this is a beginner's video, I am showing you a flat piece of wood. So this is not anything too intricate or complicated. We're going to need two brushes. Actually, you may need three. One to paint your surface. The other one will be to apply decoupage glue. And the other one will be to apply a varnish, which I always recommend. That's just the top final coat that protects your work. So I use these nail files all the time. You can use sanding blocks or sandpaper, whatever you find comfortable, but I find for edges on everything that I work on, these nail files work great. So all I'm going to do first is paint this. You can use acrylic paint or you can use chalk paint. I am a huge fan of the chalk paint. I'm going to use the chalk paint on this, but whether you're using chalk paint or acrylic paint, it's a good idea to get in the habit of matching the background color of your napkin with the chalk paint or the acrylic paint. This is. So I'm going to put this aside to dry and I'll come right back and we'll move on to the day. Now that our surface is dry, I'm going to take the napkin and because the napkin is so large, I'm going to want to cut it in half because the excess part of the napkin will just get in your way. You can either wet the napkin and tear it, that'll make it very easy to tear, or you can just take scissors and cut it. And I'm going to take a little bit of water, just to dampen my fingertips, and go over to the reinforced edge and press down, and this will help you separate your napkin so that you see you have three plies. There's the first layer, the second layer, and the top layer. And then I'm just going to carefully separate the napkin. They're not that delicate where they'll rip right away, but you do want to be a little careful in separating them. And I'm going to place the napkin over my surface. Now, because this is a smaller project, I'm going to do this process. This is a beginner's video. Just for today's video, I'm showing you how to do what's called the dry technique, which is where you place your napkin over a dry surface and take your napkin decoupage glue. And again, this is the DecoArt napkin decoupage glue. And from the center out, almost like you're working in a star pattern, push the napkin decoupage glue out. Now 
Now you can see I'm using a lot of decoupage glue and that's because this is going to serve two purposes. One, it's gluing the napkin down to the surface but it's also providing the coat of napkin decoupage glue over the surface of the napkin which we will need before we apply our top coat. So you want to make sure that you keep loading your brush. If you have a light hand it may be a little tough for you to get into the habit of adding more decoupage glue to your brush. And the reason I am using this technique as opposed to the technique where you apply the glue first and then lay the napkin over it is because I have found that this technique helps you avoid a lot more wrinkles. And don't worry about wrinkles when you're first starting out that's normal and as you go along you'll notice your own special way you may say to yourself you know what I've been applying too much pressure and I've noticed that when I go lighter I have less wrinkles or I've noticed the opposite that I am going too lightly and I need to press a little heavier or I'm not using enough decoupage glue whatever it is you'll find your own pattern along the way so you know we all tend to be a little too hard on ourselves if you find that you've got a few wrinkles don't worry about that it's okay as you move along you'll find your way this for me is the best way to avoid the wrinkles and the frustration right off the bat and obviously this is going to take a little time to dry. You can put it near a heater or you can put it in a sunny window uh, or just leave it in a nice, you know, the driest place possible to let this dry. And then I'll come back. We'll file these edges off easily and quickly and we will apply our top coat and that will be One it. One thing I want to make sure that I do mention these ends, when you come out to these edges, it's kind of natural to press heavily and as you come towards the end, lift up your brush. You want to make sure that you're really getting those edges down because that can be the source of trouble down the road where your decoupage starts to pull up or moisture comes through it. So make sure you get these edges really well. You should be able to see them. I'll show you on a dark spot where you can see it. You see how these edges are standing out here. You want to make sure your decoupage glue gets all the way out to the edge and these edges are secured down on your surface. Okay? And we'll let this dry. And now this is completely dry so I'm just going to take my nail file and one other thing that's very important when you're filing away these edges you want to go in one direction just like with your fingernails you want to make sure you just go in a downward direction if you go back and forth or if you go in the wrong direction you'll pull these edges up and we don't want that so you can see how the nail file takes this off quickly and leaves a nice sharp edge I'll go around the rest of this to remove all of that. And now that we're done, all we need to do is add a top coat or varnish, and that's the final step which will protect your work. And you can go with a glossy finish, a satin finish, or a matte finish. Matte is going to give the flattest, least amount of shine, which is very nice if you're going for a vintage look or if you just don't like anything that looks too shiny or glossy. Their uh, matte finish by Deco Art is really nice, as is the satin, and so is the gloss. And I tend to almost always use this triple thick by Deco Art, as evidenced by all of the <laughs> worn off label here. Now, I won't use this one today. I'm going to use 
I'll go with the middle of the road satin varnish over this piece. And you want to make sure you're using an artist's brush as opposed to a sponge brush when you are putting these varnishes on. And one other thing to keep in mind while I am putting this on, the higher the gloss, the more it's going to show flaws. So if you do have wrinkles or you're not quite satisfied, there looks like there looks to be a little bit of a crease in there, which I'm not that worried about. But the higher the gloss, the more it is going to highlight or show any defects. And let me let this dry and I'll show you how everything looks once. It's okay guys, so here is our finished piece. You can see that there is a slight gloss on there. All I need to do is put a little something on the back if I would like to hang this up. And I just wanted to show you, this is the canvas piece that I did. This is also a napkin. And I used something called, yeah, I used something by Deco Art or Americana, I'm sorry, it's the same company, called Starlight Varnish. Can you see that? There is a very, very subtle sheen of glitter throughout this. So if you don't want a heavy coating of glitter and you don't want it to be too glossy, that is another option. So this is on wood. This is on canvas. The links are down below this video for supplies. And it really, uh, it, it's a big help to me when you share these videos and you subscribe but I also wanted to let you know, the first couple of days that I put a video out, I will check the messages and try to respond. And after that, like today, it's late April of 2019. Anytime after that, you want to go over to Facebook on a page called Upcycle with Decoupage. That's my Facebook page. Click like and follow the page, and then go ahead and ask me any questions that you'd like, and I'll see if I can help you out. So go ahead and write me in public and private. Let me know what you need. I'll either make a video, or I will get back to you and let you know how I can help you. All right, guys, thanks a lot. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.